A good day to you. Um, I'm going to be doing the, the service of the close of the day, uh, which is found um, with our Lutheran service book. And so it can be found in your hymn book. It can also be found um, if you have one of these at home or, or uh, yeah, those are about the two places that we, that we have. But um, so we'll go ahead and begin. Uh, we're here at Higher Things at uh, Colorado State University and trying to upload a few devotions that I've done. Some of them are, are working, some of them aren't. Uh, you would think the internet would be better at, in a college, but I'm having troubles with it. So close the day. We'll go ahead and begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace of the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Our scripture is going to be from uh, Revelation chapter 21. And we're going to be starting at verse 22 of chapter 21. And then uh, reading to verse 5, reading to verse 5 um, of chapter 22. So we, beg it, we begin. John is speaking. He says, And I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. By its light will the nations walk, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. And its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. They will bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will ever enter it, nor anyone who does what is detestable or false, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Then the angel showed me the river of water of life, bright as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. Also on either side of the river, the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be anything accursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads and the night will be no more. They will need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. A wonderful text. And we will uh, confess uh, this evening uh, the words of the Apostles' Creed we confess together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we say together the Nunc Dimittis from Luke chapter 2. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we pray the prayer our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we pray. O oh Lord God, Heavenly Father, on this day, we certainly give you thanks for 
families and marriages. We pray, Heavenly Father, that husbands and wives, parents and children would live in ordered harmony according to your word. We ask you, Lord, that you would continue to raise up good parents who will raise children um, and bring them into, through the gift of your Holy Spirit, the true faith. We lift up to you our communities and our neighborhoods. We pray for your blessing to be upon those places. And Lord, this day, especially uh, um, as I'm in Colorado, I ask that your blessing would be upon um, our chaperones and the, the kids that are here from our church, and also just for all the kids that are here, the 500 plus that are enjoying your wonderful word, O oh Lord. We thank you for that word, and we ask that you would continue to bless us with it as we go forth from here. We pray, O oh Lord, to visit our dwellings, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray together. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless you. Um, don't always do the close of the day. It's something a little different, but uh, it's a... Uh, pretty busy here at the uh at the conference and uh um, so this is the time i had today uh if uh i what was i gonna say i, I guess i was gonna say uh, i encourage you to to talk to our youth that went on this trip they seem to be thoroughly enjoying enjoying it and um seeing the excitement of what the liturgy is able to bring to them and so uh if you have an opportunity uh, make sure you you ask him some questions. So, all right. Other than that, have a have a wonderful uh, evening in the Lord.